Welcome to our headquarters in the Netherlands. The fiber, Dynamo, was actually invented just a few meters away from the, where we stand now. After its invention, the leading rope manufacturers have been using Dynema as a core fiber for their mooring ropes. And countless vessels have been using Dynema in their moorings. This video series summarizes the four factors that you have to consider when choosing your mooring rope. Resistance to fatigue, abrasion, creep, and high and low temperatures. It also shows differences between the Dynema SK78 and generic HMPE. The first factor that defines a mooring rope's lifetime is its resistance to fatigue loads. Mooring often looks like a very static operation, but in fact it's very dynamic. You can see it from this uh, movie of a cruise vessel moored under slightly more severe uh, conditions. Ropes get tangent and slack, tangent and slack again. The same thing happens at lower loads. Tangents continuously fluctuate. What happens is that strands in a rope will move back and forth, causing friction inside the rope. Dyneema can handle this very well, contrary to, for example, some other fibers like air mitts. This tangent variation also fatigues the rope, it fatigues the fiber, and over time this will weaken the fiber. What we did is that we improved, increased the intrinsic fatigue life of our SK78 fiber. We actually in, improved it by a factor of three. So how did we do that? We actually engineered life into our Dyneema fiber. And we can do that because we are backward integrated, we make our own feedstock. The feedstock for Dyneema fiber is a molecule based out of carbon and hydrogen atoms. The fact that it's only made out of carbon and hydrogen is the reason for its high chemical resistance. And the feedstock that we use is a very long molecule of carbon and hydrogen. It's actually a few hundred thousand carbon atoms in one row. That's why it's called a high molecular weight polyethylene. And to increase the life, we have added side chains. You can look at this as anchors in marine terms. If you add those anchors to side chains, you will increase the fatigue life of your fiber and by that also increase the reliability and the durability of the rope made out of it. And this is especially relevant at higher temperatures, as the uh, effects of fatigue are increased at higher temperatures. With the NEMA fiber, we have conducted extensive testing, and by that we have proven the additional durability of the SK78 that includes those side angles. And in other words, not all HMPE is the same. Besides an increased lifetime, we also believe that you, that you can increase the reliability of uh, mooring operations. By doing a lot of fatigue testing on different rope diameters, different temperature levels, we have been able to uh, build a model and the model predicts the rope life over time. And that additional knowledge on how your rope will perform over time will increase the reliability of your operations. It shows that the rope with SK78 has a superior service life and the highest reliability over generic HMPE. The longer service life means that over the lifetime of your vessel, you will be using fewer materials, less resources for your mooring ropes. Dyneema fiber is made using 100% renewable electricity. If you want to further reduce your carbon footprint, you can choose the bio-based alternative Dyneema fiber. And last but not least, we have established an industry coalition with our major rope manufacturers to develop a closed-group recycling route for Dyneema fiber.